Okay, so we're just going to be doing a quick uh, two-minute tutorial on this. So basically, how do you pin the knees or the shoulders uh, during animation? So basically, sometimes you'll need to pin the knees and just not have them move. For example, let me just show you. So we just have a basic movement here, right? So we kind of don't want these knees to move because sometimes, for example, you might be kneeling down and then the deep knees might be touching the ground. They should not be moving at all, right? So obviously you can see right here they're moving. So the prerequisite for this is your skeleton kind of needs to have tweak bones. So this is called a tweak bone, right? So not all skeletons have this. It's basically based on a stretch to bone constraint and some other complicated stuff, which I really don't understand. But uh, this one do definitely does because you can have a look here. It has this tweak bone here. In fact, let me just clear out some of this here so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, basically, if I just, you can see all these blue bones here, they're called tweak bones. And basically you can adjust them and they're meant to polish the final pose. Um, I'm just going to reverse that by just pressing Control Z. <clears throat> so uh, let's have a look here. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to make sure I'm in pose mode first. So first of all, I'm just gonna click on the skeleton itself. I'm gonna to go to pose mode, right? Actually, I've already kind of set it on here. Um, yeah, so it's just this limit location constraint. Um, but let me just do the same, because like if you just play it here, you see that this knee is not moving at all, right? And it's just that simple. So I'm just going to just press shift. Let me actually turn on screencast keys real quick. Um, I'm going to press Shift A and I'm just going to create an empty here. This is probably the most efficient way to do this. Um, so I'm just going to create a plane axis. Uh, and I'm just going to drag it down to where I want the knee to be. So let's just say I want the knee to be here and stuck here the whole time, right? The reason why we're using an empty is we can also animate this. So if we really need to move the knee, we can still move the knee and have that freedom of control. So I'm just going to just click on the skeleton here, go to pose mode here. I'm gonna click on this tweak bone here. So this is the one, remember, it's gonna to stretch to this bone here. So I'm just gonna add a bone to uh, a bone constraint. So not an object constraint, this is an object constraint here. You see this telescope, blue telescope, object constraint. This blue bone here, bone constraint, right? So make sure you're in pose mode for the skeleton first. Click on the tweak bone. For example, this is the knee bone right here. Add a bone constraint add a limit, uh, a limit location here, okay? I wanna turn on all these to zero, right? And you're gonna see, um, basically, you already have the effect here. So you can see that the knee does not move at all. But obviously, that's not what we want. So how are we going to make this follow the empty? All we need to do is just change the world space to custom space, and we're gonna select our empty, right? So I actually forgot what I named the empty. I think it's empty01. So I'm just gonna check that. And you can see now when we move, you can see that that knee stays in the exact same place. And you can do this for any other of these bones here as well, right? So you could do this, uh, you could place an empty here um, for this knee bone here, right? So you can see when I just play this animation, you see the knee stays in place when before it was moving back and forth, which didn't make sense because it was crouching on the ground. Um, Furthermore, you can also still animate the knee here. So if you wanted this to slide forwards, you can just animate this empty instead now, right? So you can just click on this empty, press I, uh, location, and you can just animate it over here. I don't know if you wanted to do that for some reason, you wanted to slide forward. Obviously it doesn't make sense here, but I'm just showing you that you can still animate it forwards, even though um, it's constrained to this bone, right? There's still you can still have that freedom of control. So yeah, that's how you can set up a simple kind of a shoulder or knee uh, rigging system so that it stays in the same place pretty easily. Right. So yeah, if you especially when you're kneeling and stuff, and or you have it stuck to a wall or a floor or whatever.